what's going on guys i'm luis ortiz ortiz got that shirt action right there yeah anyways guys so today we are doing a three two one rib method on the pit boss 1150 for some uh pork ribs we are going to do a mcrib on it so we're gonna do three hours smoke smoke mode right because that's what we do and we're gonna boil it and then after that we are going to go ahead and Leave it outside so I can get, you know, finished touches. So follow along with us. We're going to go ahead and show you guys what we do. Let's get it. what's going on guys so today we are going to go ahead and do some mcribs we are going to do the three two one method and we are going to set it up to about smoke mode for about three hours then two hours we are going to wrap it and then the final hour we are going to go ahead and leave it as is make it nice and glisten you, you guys already know so we're going to go ahead and do that so with that let's go ahead and go with the gopro i mean with the pit boss this is what we got right now gents see that temperature at right now about 170 and some change i haven't had any, any issues lately so we're hoping for the best we got the lumberjacks right here there we go yeah all right guys give us a bit and we'll go ahead and put the meat in there we go guys let's go ahead and put it in Oh, look at that smoke mode. See, guys, you always have to do smoke mode for a bit, man. Get you some of that nice flavor right there. Now, remember, let's put these in as straight as possible because remember, guys, the way that you put these ribs on, that's how they are going to come out. So make sure that they're very nice and straight. Looks pretty good, right? All right, guys. All righty, folks. We'll see you guys in a bit. So this Texas-style uh, ribs may not be for everyone that's all right i mean it is what it is but we put the honey hog we put some of that some of that holy cow get that pepper taste man now while we're in here be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button i think it's right here or right here i don't know guys just hit that subscribe button it really helps us out all right so with that guys we are going to keep smoking this thing it's been a couple minutes already but i want to show, uh, share with you guys the fact that it doesn't always have to be sweet. If you can try that bolder flavor, this bold Texas flavor, I am promise you, you guys are really gonna enjoy it. All right guys, we'll see you in a bit. What's going on guys? So it's been about two hours. Let's go ahead and check out how it is. Oh, look at that guys. Start to get that nice color. Look at that. Hmm, should we spritz? Yeah, let's spritz. Oh, look at that red color, guys. See, this is what you want. Smoke it. Guys, I'm telling you guys, if you guys use the smoke mode, that's all you're gonna need right there. Look at that. See if some of the smoke dies off a little bit. But look at that nice color, guys. All right, let's go ahead and close it up real quick. So three hours are up. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. So this butter that you see right here, my wife actually made it. We had some heavy cream and if you mix it enough or whatever, it'll separate the fat from the buttermilk and you end up with this stuff right here. And let me tell you guys, this thing is pretty sweet. So it's gonna be perfect for these ribs. All right, so let's go ahead and put it in here. Let's, there we go. And we are gonna go bone side down. 
There we go. This here butter, we are still gonna put it in here. Now we, we are not going to do Sweet Baby Ray's right off the bat. Because remember, we'll do that on the last hour. So let's go ahead and wrap. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty folks, so two hours wrap is what's gonna happen right now. Now, if you can see down here, my wife is making the sourdough bread for the McRibs. So hopefully everything turns out well. I don't know, you guys are following along with us. So that's what we're hoping for. Hopefully in the one hour mark, we can get that nice tender um, meat so that we can pull off the bones and get this sandwich going. Think it's gonna be great? Let's go ahead and find out guys. Alrighty folks, so it's been an hour already. We are gonna go ahead and bump this up to about, yeah, I wanna say 250 or so. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so it did not turn off on me. Great, let's see, did it go in? Yes, outstanding. All right guys, so the reason we do this is because if we never bump it up from 180, then that's the only temperature that it's gonna get to right maybe the foil will help it out some but we'll do 250 to make sure that we get that nice fall off the bone type deal for the mcribs bro you got to do it for the mcribs all right guys we'll see you in a bit all righty folks so we pulled it off now it's time to go ahead and leave unwrapped careful with this though oh you see the bones right there yeah Oh, okay guys, give me a bit and we'll get it going. Alrighty folks, so this is how we have it. Now let's go ahead and put some of this barbecue sauce in there. It's a mixture of barbecue sauce with a little bit of uh, butter. Alright, we didn't have any honey to set the glaze, so that's very unfortunate. But you know what, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves this. I don't like leaving grill mark, I mean marks, so we might have to spritz it so it can be a little bit more even, right? Remember guys, this is just so that we can set up the glaze, let's see how she looks, look at, look at that man, I mean just look at it, hopefully some of these um, brush marks go away, but look at that guys, alright folks, we'll be back. Let's go ahead and go for a bite. Oh man, how the hell am I gonna do it? Mmm, right. smoke flavor is there, guys. Mmm. Wow, bread is super soft. Barbecue sauce is on the money. The right tenderness on the meat is great. I mean, just look at it, guys. No bones, no nothing. Guys, if you guys wanted to know the recipe on the bread, let us know. We'll go ahead and make a video for it. You can do this for burgers. You can do it for the McRib. You can do it for anything, really. It's fantastic. My wife, my wife's uh, recipe, we'll go ahead and post that up. But, um, guys, Try this out. You'll really enjoy it. If you got just a spare ribs or whatever, just make a day of it. You know, 
And that's pretty much it. Alrighty folks, so that's gonna be it for today. Sandwich came out fantastic. Go ahead and give it a shot. I promise you guys, you won't regret it. See you guys then.